Taylor, you think you could make a large maize and blue? Yes. Thank you, thank you. Ray's Red Hots sells Chicago-style hot dogs just steps from the University of Michigan campus. Now thanks to the NCAA's move to allow athletes to profit from their name, image, and likeness, Ray's sees an opportunity. One team that we've started uh, talking to yet, very exploratory, we're working with a female uh, sports team here at the U of M. Meanwhile, schools are cobbling together policies and scrambling to ensure athletes follow guidelines. I would say it's a beautiful mess. Uh, you know, it, it truly is. These, these are uncharted waters. The uncertainty is a reality in college towns across America, including in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, where businesses are trying to determine value in a market never set before. The businesses that we've talked to are mostly uh, looking to learn more before they go full court press on this. A couple of ex-Michigan athletes are hoping to do their part to help current Wolverines make sense of the NIL changes. To make sure that you know, the student athletes are focusing on, on the field and we're taking everything off their plate. Jared Wangler and Nico Pericos formed a company that is designed to act as a go-between for student athletes and businesses. I think there's going to be a mix between massive brands throwing a lot of money in the beginning and small mom and pop shops trying to compete. But I think once the dust settles, you'll see the real brand deals coming out, the players that you know are going to make the most money make the most money, and then a fair situation for everyone else in between. Got an online order coming back. It's sort of the Wild West out here. I mean, we've I've heard tale of people pursuing all kinds of deals, from money payouts to free food for life. Um, it's, it's a free-for-all right now, and so I think uh, the student-athletes can ask for you know, whatever they want, but uh, it would have to make sense to us as a business um, in, in order for us to say yes. At Ray's and businesses and university towns, it's going to take some time to get a better handle on this new world. Mike Householder, Associated Press, Ann Arbor, Michigan.